Some of you may be aware of this, but when you have a YouTube channel, especially once you hit the 10,000 subscriber mark, companies will contact you wanting you to review their products. For the most part, it is usually items that I just don't think you guys would be interested in, like pocket projectors, cheap outdoor projectors, or even cheaper indoor projectors. <laughs> Basically, I get offered a lot of projectors, uh, but also sometimes things like headsets and Bluetooth speakers. But once in a while, a real gem comes along, and I think to myself, you guys would probably love to see that just as much as I would. Well, I believe that is definitely the case with today's video. A company called Gravistar contacted me and wanted me to review some of their Bluetooth speakers and some earbuds. I took a look at their website and I thought to myself, you know what, those are actually super cool. And I think that you guys will agree. In just a second, you will see what I mean once we get these things out of their boxes. I'm Barrett, this is Specatech. Welcome to the channel. So Gravistar sent me two of their larger Bluetooth speakers, one of their smaller ones, as well as a true wireless headset. So let's start with this one. I did cut the box open just to make it a little bit easier already, toss that aside. But as you can see, uh, they kind of went over and above with the packaging and that's kind of why I wanted to unbox it all in front of you. Uh, it's just a very cool little package. Uh, so this is a Sirius Pro true wireless headset. Uh, which is in an all metal rechargeable case which is in there really good <laughs> so i'll show you that up uh, close in a little bit here but i just wanted to show you guys the packaging first and then of course you have your documentation and charging cable in there but very cool little case that you can put it in and then we have uh, this little venus bluetooth speaker here uh, again very cool packaging you just peel that open and then in front you have your documentation and probably a charging cable in there as well. And then you have your little Venus Bluetooth speaker, which looks like that. And it's actually got some heft to it. I believe the body, uh, for the most part, is made from metal. That's what it feels like anyway. Yeah, I would say so. But again, we'll get some close-ups of that in a second here. But first, let's get into the rest of the boxes. So let's close that one up. And these are quite a bit bigger and feel like they have some weight to them. So... Let's get into these ones here. So on the top, you got a nice piece of styrofoam. And then this one, I believe, is called Battle Damaged Yellow. But that is super cool. Uh, some of it is plastic, but the legs feel like they're metal. A lot of the body is made of metal as well. But the design of this one's really cool. It just made it look like, uh, I think they're hand painted actually but to make it look like it's been in some battles before. But very cool. Again, we'll get some close-ups of that in just a second. Put that one back. And then we have one more, just like it, but in a different color. So these are the Mar Mars Pro models. Again, feels like metal, metal legs. It's got some heft to it, it's pretty solid. But there is the Mars Pro in white. Super slick, guys. These look very clean. Can't wait to get them booted up. But there you have it. That's the boxing. That's the packaging. And then on the inside, you do have some charging cables and whatnot, which uh, the same in the other box there. All right, so now that you guys have seen the packaging and you've seen a little bit of the products themselves, let's get a little bit more close and personal with them and check them out. Now that we have these little alien looking speakers out of the box, I have to say that they look even better in person than they do on the webpage. The build quality truly is top tier. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before we get into the good stuff, let's cover the price, some quick specs, and a quick tutorial on how to use each device. But since they do come with a user manual that makes learning how to use them quite simple, uh, we will go through it quite quickly. So if you want to skip the specs, there are chapter markers down below, as well as down in the description. Please do keep in mind that these prices are at the time of this recording. So for current pricing, click the links down in the description. For the Sirius Pro TWS earbuds, you are looking at $149.95 US dollars, which I would say is a bargain for their build quality and their sound quality. For the little brother Venus speaker, it's $59.95 or $89.95 US dollars, depending on the model that you choose right now. Pricing for the War Damaged Yellow, which is hand painted, is $329.95. And for the plain white or plain black units, you are looking at $229.95. Of course, that's in US dollars as well. Since I haven't been in the market for a Bluetooth speaker in a long time at first i thought it was a little pricey until i looked at other bluetooth speakers like sonos or bose i even checked out a couple of them at costco which cost similar money had all plastic build quality and in my opinion had slightly worse sound quality they mostly had a bloated warm sound with a little bit of detail i feel the gravistar bested the other bluetooth speakers in every way 
For example, when compared to the Sonos Roam Bluetooth speaker, I would take Gravistar's Mars Pro metal build, unique design, and more detailed sound any day of the week. Uh, the Sonos is priced almost identically to the Mars Pro in plain white and in plain black. I honestly feel that the Gravistar units offer more value than any other unit that I have heard at this price point. I also feel that my channel offers a great value. I mean, after all, you guys get to watch for free. All you need to do is subscribe, tick the bell, and hit that like button for these epic speakers. All right, so let's move on to some basic specs and how to use these little tripods. Let's start off with the simplest device and that is the earbuds. Guys, these are so easy to use, it's ridiculous. Simply take them out of their metal case, find them in your Bluetooth list on your smartphone or smart device and pair them. Put them back in the case and they will turn off. Put only one back in the case and the one still in your ear will enter mono mode and still play music. This is obviously very handy if you're bike riding or traveling, you can hear what's going on around you and still hear your music. A single tap on the back of either earbud is pause or play. A double tap on the left skips songs backwards and a double tap on the right skips forwards. A triple tap on the left changes from music to movie mode and a triple tap on the right changes to game mode with a minuscule 65 millisecond latency. Finally, a quadruple tap activates Siri. Sorry, Android users, there's no Google support on this one. The earbuds themselves last about four hours per charge, which isn't the best, but it's not the worst either. The great thing is that the case also has a built-in battery and holds up to three extra charges for the earbuds. The case has a USB charging port at the bottom and a button to change the color on the RGB light strip. They use a 7.5 millimeter dynamic driver and Noel's armatures, so they are no slouch in the audio department. Moving on to the Venus Bluetooth speaker, it's a 10 watt full range 1.75 inch uh, driver with a passive radiator at the back. The runtime is about 10 hours depending on the volume. Uh, there are four buttons on the top of the unit with a USB-C charging port at the bottom. The two buttons closer to the back of the unit are your volume buttons or press them both at the same time to change the color of the RGB ring on the front. The weird thing is that the volume up button has two lines on it as opposed to a plus sign but the Bluetooth connection button has a plus sign on it and a single press of it puts it into pairing mode and a two second long press puts it into networking mode, meaning it looks for another Venus speaker to pair with to give you stereo sound, which is a much welcome feature. The button with a circle on it is the power on off button if you hold it down and play pause with a quick press. Ready to pair, Bluetooth connected. All right, let's move on to the big daddies, and that is the Mars Pro speakers. The build quality on these are truly something special, but we will get to that a little bit later in the video. But they do have a massive 8,000 milliamp hour battery built in for up to 15 hours of playback. You get 25 watts with the one inch soft dome tweeter. Behind it is a 2.5 inch full range driver with a passive radiator at the back of the speaker. A really nice touch is the soft glow of the full range driver mounted behind the tweeter. On the bottom of the unit, you will find a USB-C port for charging with the included charging cable, or you can use the included USB-C to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, uh, which is a nice added touch for those wanting to use these hardwired to any device out there that might still have a headphone jack on it. Apple, I'm looking at you. On the top, you will find a touch bar for adjusting the volume and three buttons. The middle button is to power on off with a long press and play pause with a quick press. The right button is for controlling the plethora of RGB lighting on these speakers. RGB fans will love this speaker. It's lit up everywhere, but not in a tacky way. A long press of this button turns the lights on or off. A quick press changes the colors and a double press changes from one static color to breathing mode, which slowly transitions between all the colors. On the far left, you have the Bluetooth button, which operates just like the one on the Venus speaker. So a quick press puts it into pairing mode. And then in this case, a three second long hold puts it into networking mode. This is to run two speakers in stereo mode. So if you do have two of these speakers, just press the Bluetooth button on both of them for three seconds, then one quick press on the master unit, and then a double quick press on the slave unit. Now you can run them in stereo mode, which is really slick. Okay, we made it through some specs and how to use them. Let's talk about build quality. This is an area that all of these units really shine and I can't state this enough guys. The Mars Pro are mostly made from zinc alloy with only the feet being plastic and I believe a small portion of the body being plastic as well. And they have some absolute solid heft to them. Gravistar clearly dove into this design with top-notch build quality in mind. Especially if you order one of the hand-painted versions like the war damage yellow that I have here, the finish truly is amazing. Uh, there's no other word for it guys this is not hype at all it's just facts it looks like something straight out of a video game like borderlands 
The machining of each piece is also very well done. Everything fits together incredibly well. This all remains true for the little Venus speaker. Its entire body, other than the plastic surrounding the four buttons, is made of zinc alloy as well, uh, with an exceptionally nice paint job on it. Then we get to the Sirius Pro earbuds. The case is solid metal again. The earbuds are, of course, plastic to keep the weight down, but still really well built. Uh, these things were never close to coming loose in my ears. I was incredibly surprised. I've actually been staying away from earbuds like this for that reason, but Gravistar has made a believer out of me. I would have no hesitations using these for a workout. I think if you were to fault these units, uh, you would be hard pressed to do it on the build quality. Other than the volume up button being two lines instead of a plus symbol on the Venus speaker, I had no complaints about the build or the aesthetics on these speakers. In fact, they actually far exceeded my expectations in this regard. I was very pleasantly surprised. Moving on to the most important part of a Bluetooth speaker, the sound and connectivity. I spent many hours listening to these speakers, testing their features and using the earbuds for traveling. I never once lost connection to any of them. The Bluetooth connection seems to be rock solid, at least with the units that I have here. I will keep the audio explanation simple on the earbuds. I think for the price, you'd be hard pressed to beat the sound. Although if you are a bass head, I would be a little bit more hesitant. The bass uh, is more of a balanced sound and leans towards accuracy. They are a little on the brighter side as well, uh, which provides amazing detail. But for those sensitive to high frequencies, you may find them a little bit fatiguing. Of course, if you do use an EQ with your music player, you could easily EQ them to your taste. With those two caveats out of the way, the sound truly is phenomenal. I would say that they are on the verge of what you would be considered an audiophile sound, especially if you can EQ them. A little bit of a nitpick, but I would have liked to see a longer battery life in the earbuds themselves, but I am happy Gravistar made the battery in the case, big enough for three extra charges. Moving to the tiny but mighty Venus speaker. Guys, what can I say? I think that you would be pleasantly surprised with the speaker. No, you won't fill a grand hall with sound, but it would do a great job in pretty much any room in your house and give you moderate sound. The sound remains composed and crisp for the most part, but like every Bluetooth speaker that I've ever heard, uh, it loses a little bit of composure at max volume, but this really depends on the song. If there is a lot going on, it will have trouble keeping up, but simple songs, it will remain quite clear even at max volume. It's actually surprisingly crisp and rich for such a small speaker, and along with its great build quality, it really is a winner at its price tag. All right, now let's talk about his big tripod brother, the Mars Pro. The Mars Pro does have a tweeter for highs and a full range for the mids and bass, so the sound is noticeably cleaner and more detailed than the Venus, and rightfully so, it does fetch a higher price tag. But don't just take my word for it. Here, take a listen for yourself. I will do some demos here at half volume and then max volume. This is max volume. So this is with the single speaker on the right, uh, volume half, and then I'll do volume max. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast And here's Max I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I hope you guys enjoyed the demos. And oh, one more thing uh, before we get back into the sound. It has a pretty epic boot up and shut down noise uh, just to add to the personality of them. So here, check it out. Bluetooth connected. Okay, so now back to the sound. Uh, it seems to keep its composure almost entirely, even at max volumes, except for maybe the most demanding of songs that also have heavy bass. And even then it performs quite well, but it will exhibit some distortion. I would say for a Bluetooth speaker, it's probably the clearest and most detailed that I've heard. Uh, the bass is not a bloated mess. It is surprisingly clean for a Bluetooth speaker, but it's not immune to that slightly warm, bassy Bluetooth speaker sound. But it is what it is when you are trying to get decent sound out of something so small and compact. It even does have a decent mid-range, at least when compared to other similarly priced Bluetooth speakers that I've heard. I did try finding something that I didn't like about the Mars Pro, and I couldn't really come up with anything. I guess a nitpick would be to have zero distortion at max volume, and maybe bring the price down a little bit for the special edition speakers, even though they are very well done and hand-painted. But I would say the plain black and plain white models are well worth their price in every way. 
They've operated without any issues. Uh, the build quality is literally the best that I've ever seen, and it has great sound to go along with it. If you are in the market for a Bluetooth speaker like a Bose or Sonos, etc., I do challenge you to try the Gravistar instead, unless, of course, you are looking for a plain mundane design. Even if you aren't in the market, but maybe looking for something super cool to put on your computer desk or even in some sort of display, I have to say, guys, these look badass on my computer desk and are a definite conversation starter. Links are down in the description if you want to check them out further. If you like cool videos like this, consider subscribing, tick the bell icon if you do, and take just one teeny tiny second to hit that like button for me. I truly do appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you guys would consider supporting the channel by hitting the join button below this video or joining me on Patreon where there are links down in the description. A little goes a long way in helping out the channel, guys, so I really would appreciate it. Remember to enjoy your systems, even if it's a Bluetooth speaker. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.